top squad out of Pool B awaiting the winner in the quarterfinals. So our quarterfinal bracket will be set. As soon as we get this one underway, 10 minutes on the game clock. We appreciate you guys for watching today. We appreciate you even more if you've been uh, interacting with us on social media using the hashtag 3x3WT. And of course, uh, following us on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, everything else, at Fever3x3. All right, here we go. Final game, day one. And we got a foul in the first five seconds. Two is launched, and the two is missed. This globe. He gives it up. Arpinko, Pisclo, neither one of them able to make anything happen here on the first possession. Oh, nice pass. Good D, though. Swiper, no swiping. Pisclo. Carpin Cole has a big shoulder <laughs> on the drop step. <laughs> Just get inclined to move out the way. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if I wanted to get that. And again, running into trouble. Pretty sound defense there. But uh, no doubt a little contact as well. Up fake. Doesn't clear any space. Good sound defense here from the Russians. Any time a foul is called. Nacho Mark. 36 year old. He's a big dude. 203. 105. Got a lot of skill to go with that size. And I like his nickname too. The Flow. They need him to get it, the Flow. No better time to do it than now. So he knocks down the, uh, the free throw. 1-1. One, one. Pisclo. Can't find the mark. Out of bounds it goes. And Piran undefeated. Watching this one very closely. Seeing what they may be able to exploit or take advantage of in tomorrow's quarterfinal action. Anytime time that shot, we off the mark. Quick move, piss glove. Little bump, little fade, knockdown. Minute and a half in. Saw the, uh, saw the idea there. Get out, was looking for Martin. Rock was kicked though, so fresh shot clock for the Spaniards. Nice move, didn't put enough on it, so miss it back over to the guys in white. Carpet Cole, couple of ball fakes. He uses his size over the sizable Nacho. Now Nacho taking it to the deep end. But he couldn't connect. Here's Pino. Oh, he goes off the window. Bank open late here in Lausanne. Just give it a light. It's low. Carpet cold. No choice but to foul him. Ilya Karpikov, 22 year old. Represents Russia in the U23 Nations League. Also won gold at the second European Games in, here in 2019. And is going to represent Russia in the Europe Cup. So you're seeing a whole lot of him taking that trip to Deberson. 
Oh, good move. Fisklove could have finished it at the rim, no. One point game, long ball. Nothing but air. Carpet Cole, good position. Fakes with the right, puts it up with the left. And an easy score. Here's Pino moving left, elevate, rattled off the rim. So Barcelona struggling a little bit with that offense. But only a two point game. Depending on what happens here, stays a two point game off the miss. Barcelona back in business. Oh, nice vision on the pass over to Nacho. But Nacho couldn't dip it in the cup. Pino, step back, miss. But Nacho, there to recover it. So he cleans things up and pulls Barcelona within one. Six and a half to play, TV timeout on the court. These two have uh, never met on the tour. And uh, debuts on the world tour for Nacho. Also Pino. And Girao. But uh, Reyna did play for Malaga. Close miss. Oh. Man, they couldn't stop him. They put him in a straight jacket. Karpikov is having his way. Not a shot. He's big and skillful. Nacho, jab step. Oh, he's bringing some heat too. Yeah. 6-5. That's on the long ball. A little bit to the right, his glove. Go have a seat. Drive to even things up. Six apiece. Five and a half to play. Carpenco. All business like the front of the plane. He is mean underneath. So one man record crew. How do you tame a monster like that? Carpico was with such a high ceiling too. You know, this, this dude is 22 years old. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, there, Pisclo. Maybe that ignites the fire within him. Maybe that it helps extinguish it. Pino. He takes two right back. We got action. 10 8. Supino, fouling Pisclo. Four fouls on Barcelona. And three fouls on Coralette. So I think that's the best way. I mean, you don't want to let Carpenter Cove establish position. It's the last thing you want. You want to make it as difficult as possible. Eleven ten game. 
Vino, short. Four and a half to play. Make sure you check out our website, worldtour.fiba3x3.basketball. Keep up with the standings, all the latest happenings around uh, 3x3. You can also check out uh, challenges on deck. Matter of fact, the uh, Shonggan Challenger got on the way uh, today. Got some talent in that uh, in that tournament, for sure. Pasik, Jukes, Virtuvis, Amsterdam, Ljubljana, and uh, Women's Series wrapped up as well. Congrats, uh, Japan U23. Next Women's Series stop will be in Debrecen. We'll uh, have our world tour as well on the 27th, right before uh, the Europe Cup. A lot of the players you see competing out here, here in this tournament, you also see them uh, competing with their country across their chest at the Europe Cup. Now it's 11 up. Man down. Took a bump out there. Just get out. Be afraid to get in there and mix it up a little bit. Now get out. Step back. Didn't put enough muscle into it. And Carpet Call sends Nacho to the floor. TV timeout. So we start heading down the final stretch here. So with 3.50 left, we are knotted across the board. Fouls and score. 11 and 4 up. It's low. Crosses from left to right. He uh, draws a foul in the process. They're going to keep feeding the man. That has an insatiable diet. Carpet call decided to give it up that time. Still didn't come out with any uh, any points. Watching him and Nacho do battle, that's fine. Carpet call. Snatches that one. Pisklov on the move. Met Nacho at the rim. And got the finger roll to go over him. Pino couldn't get the two piece to go. Trying to be out of bounds off red. And Corolla at ball. Just off the front of the rim. Pino, quick move. Oh, he's trying to drop a dime to Nacho. Nacho saying, man, make the simple pass. Just give me a nice little bounce pass. We got to score. Now they got to earn it with five seconds up on the shot clock. Tough position. And the two pieces missed anyway. Oh, you fooled me. That was a practice shot. <laughs> Nacho. Oh. Couldn't finish it with, with one hand. That's a nice play, but you gotta finish it off. Give and go. Yep, Nacho. That's a hip check.
Oh, bottoms up. See the arc on that shot from Pisclo. So a 14 to 12 advantage for Korolev. Travel call. Harmonikov shuffled the feet a little bit. We'll give it back over. His team currently with a two-point cushion. That could disappear in one foul swoop, a one foul splash. We'll see what the Barcelona does with it. Nacho. Puts up a brick. How? Oh, reverse. Nice finish there. I'm not mad at that. And I definitely ain't mad at that. Doubles up. Miss Globe looking for some more. 15 to 13, Korolev. Barcelona in the penalty with seven fouls, so two free throws. Kirill made a total of four appearances on the tour. Was a part of that uh, exciting young Russian team. Gagarin last season. Got the experience of playing at the World Tour Final. Top 12 teams in the world at the end of the regular season. And uh, he does take care of business at the free throw stripe. Completely in these 16 to 13. Now it's Nacho. No bucket. It's a clash of the Titans down low. Between the two bigs. So far, Karpikov has uh, gotten the better end of the deal. His team leading 16 to 13. And an air ball. Buck 17 left. So we got an out of bounds challenge here. We're in the final uh, minute 17. Still very much a toss up in terms of who. Uh, who might win this three-point game in 3x3 is nothing with a minute, over a minute left. So I'll get a look at this and uh, I'll make sure that the call on the floor is the correct one. See, oh yeah. Well, I don't know that. Uh, okay, challenge is lost. So it's gonna be Korolev ball. Nice D on the inside. It's Pino to Nacho. Nacho trying to outmuscle Pisclo. Pino. The scoop, no good, but Nacho is there to clean up the mess. Oh, this glow with the move. But got to at least hit the rim. At least hit the rim, dog. 45 ticks left. One possession game. Driving kick, Nacho from the logo. Not this time. From the corner, same result. And from the opposite corner, same result. So Barcelona missing from all regions of the court. And they need a two and they need one bad. 
more. They need at least two really good possessions. They won't get two possessions here because they only got uh, 13 seconds remaining in the game. A foul called on the two. Whoa. So it, uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of things that uh, that Karpinkova has done wrong. But that was, uh, that was a big one. And that could change the outcome of this game. Could send it to overtime. We're talking about some pressure free throws coming up right now. Sergi Pino. This is the first of two. Now uh, they'll be forced to foul. Oh, this is the second as well. And they, they, they're waiting too long to foul. You got to do it quick. Two shots will follow. I think he was trying to go for the steal first. Try his luck. That's some good. Uh, it's a good dribbling clinic. Pisco playing pity pat with it. And now talking about some big free throws. Pisco's got uh, two big ones here too. He misses the first of two. So that door. That was my that was my creep sound. Slightly, slightly open. He can close it here though if he makes Oh, he missed it. Carpico confiscates the rebound though. And that's gonna do it. A 16 to 14 finish. And despite Barcelona making it to the main draw, it still will end for them on day one. Korolev, they outlast them. Two point difference. Again, 16 to 14 is how it ends.